So let's start with question number three. How can we define relationship using link to SQL? Now, before I go ahead and I talk about uh, link to SQL, or uh, before I go ahead and I talk about the source code for link to SQL, let me just touch base on a topic which is not really uh, concerned or really not uh, attached to this uh, question called as encapsulated entity. Because in the further coming times, you will see that a lot of link classes have been defined using encapsulated entity. Okay, so let's discuss about that. What basically is encapsulated entity all about? Now, in our previous video, we have discussed about a simple customer entity. And in the simple customer entity, we define the properties as public. Now, normally, this is not a, a, a really good way to define classes because it really violates something called as encapsulation. So, link also helps you to define your classes using set and get. So, in other words, you know, you can define your variables as private and then define public properties where you can basically uh, write your business logic and these public properties act as a gateway to supply data to the private properties. So in other ways, you know, you can define encapsulated link classes. Okay, now in order to define your column mappings on encapsulated properties, you need to define the column mappings on the property itself. In other words, let's say that you have defined a property called as customer code. So you need to define or you need to attribute the same with the column uh, column mapping of system dot link dot mapping okay and your table name remains as it is now when we talk about complicated projects you will always have relationships for example here we have a customer table and for every customer table there are multiple addresses and for every address there is a phone so in other words we have one to many relationship between customer and addresses and we have one to one relationship between address and phone now let's try to see that how basically link entities will help us to define these kind of relationship uh, using link mappings link uses entity set and entity ref to define one to many and one to one relationship in link classes in our in our previous er diagram we have said that customer and addresses basically has one to many relationship so what we do is that we create the object of cls address inside the customer class using entity set collection and then we define our uh, set and get property and then we map use the association mapping uh, to define that which keys will be used for association so what we do is that we we define in the association mapping saying that from the cls customer class customer id property will be mapped to customer addresses customer id property so both of these classes will have customer id in common right and we also need to define that where this entity set is stored so at this moment we are saying that this is stored in the customer addresses variable we have also said in the er diagram that addresses and phone has one to one relationship and that is defined using entity ref uh, collection so again we have created the object of cls phone inside the customer addresses class and we have defined it using entity ref Again, we have used the associa association attribute to define what associates both of these classes. At this moment, it is the address ID property. And we have also defined that the storage location is the phone, uh, the phone variable. Now, let's see that how basically this looks in actual code. And what we'll do is that we'll take up this whole thing, what we've discussed now, see the actual code of it, and we'll try to run the complete project and see how the output looks. So as we have discussed in the previ previous PowerPoint slide that uh, basically we are going to have three classes. So here, my th here are my three classes. The first class is CLS customer with address. This basically defines my customer class. Then I have the address class, which basically defines my address entity and CLS phone defines my phone. Now the customer and the address class are linked with entity set as we have uh, already explained previously. And Customer and the address class are linked using the customer ID property. So you can see that the customer with addresses has a customer ID. In the same way, the CLS address also has a customer ID. And in the association attribute, we have defined saying that both of these classes are linked using customer ID. We had also discussed that uh, CLS addresses and CLS phones uh, basically have one-to-one uh, -one relationship and that is defined using entity ref and again we have used the association attribute 
to define the linkage between CLS address and CLS phone using the address ID. So now that we have defined our linkages and we have defined the relationships uh, in link entity, it's time to uh, use the same classes in your client code. So what I've done in my default.aspx behind code is first I have created the object connection using the data context. Then I have queried my customer class that is CLS customer with address. Now what link query engine does is that it goes and it says, okay, this customer class, does it have any kind of entity set? Oh yes, it has. So it goes and loads the customer addresses. Okay, do these entity sets have any kind of entity ref? Yes, they do have. So it goes and loads the phone object. In that way, with one single query to the customer, to the parent object, that is the customer object, customer class, we are able to fetch all the uh, inner classes object. And then finally, we just loop through the customer object. We loop through each of the addresses in customer object. And then we also use the phone object to display the uh, mobile phone and the landline. Right. So let me run this project. You can get this source code from questpondvd.com. And in case you have bought the DVD, you can also get it from the source code folder. So here's my link to SQL relationship example with entity set and entity ref. Let me click on it. And you can see that it has basically first browsed through the customer. Then it has browsed through each of its addresses and then also displayed the phone. So in this way, uh, we can use entity set and entity ref to define a one to many and one to one relationship in link classes. What we'll do is that uh, in the further coming session, we'll try to see that how we can optimize uh, this entity set and entity ref uh, link classes.